Today, I will be telling you the story of the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, otherwise known as Grower's Gorilla. They are a subspecies of the species Gorilla Beringi, the other subspecies being the Eastern Mountain Gorilla. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla lives in the lush tropical rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo. As of today, they have an estimated population of less than 3,800 individuals, although their exact count is unknown. Like other species of gorilla, the eastern lowland gorilla lives an average lifespan of around 40 years, and their diet consists preferably of stems, pith, leaves, bark, ants, and other insects. They live in large community-like family groups of 10 to 35 individuals. They are our largest living primate relative and one of our closest in heritage. However, over the last 30 years, and perhaps even longer, we've noticed the eastern gorilla's population rapidly decreasing, largely caused by our own actions. Let's look at some of the statistics. In 2017, just one year, their population dropped by 2%. Overall, their population decreased by 18.75% from 2005 to 2013. Their population decreased by over 50% from the late 1990s. From 1995 to 2010, their population declined by 59%. In 1994, there were 17,000 Eastern Lowland Gorilla, but in 2015 it reduced to 3,800, a decrease of 77%. And finally, if this continues, by 2054 it is estimated their population would have shrunk by 94%. In other words, almost extinct. So what could be possibly causing this rapid decline of our largest primate relative? Well, for starters, both bushmeat hunting, hunting wild animals to eat its meat, regardless of how endangered the species is, and poaching, hunting for sport or for selling things such as fur, hide, or even bones, is the leading threat to these apes. Illegal hunting like this affects animals all over the world, especially in the region of West Africa and the Congo Basin, where the eastern gorilla lives. Next, diseases such as polio, hepatitis, tuberculosis, and most especially Ebola are decimating the eastern lowland gorilla. Ebola alone started in 1994 and destroyed three-fourths of the population, even in protected areas. Also, climate change such as increasing temperatures decreases the food availability for the eastern lowland gorilla and may eventually affect the living conditions of the gorillas themselves. Finally, habitat loss is the largest factor in the eastern gorilla's decline. People in farming and agriculture burn forests and clear huge sections of their home. Because of civil unrest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, both refugees and almost 70% of the armed forces in Congo are taking shelter in the forests, and so they are taking and partially destroying the habitat where the eastern gorilla lives. In addition, mines set down by armed forces have taken the lives of hundreds of gorillas. Logging and deforestation for timber and other natural resources take away from the jungle the gorillas call home. And finally, the soil of the gorilla's habitat is perfect for palm oil plantations, taking up hundreds of acres from the precious habitat of the eastern gorilla. The eastern lowland gorilla is suffering from our mistakes, and we need to help. So what are some of the ways that you can? One of the biggest ways you can help is by donating to a foundation for these efforts. Here is a full list of the major conservation organizations to which you can donate to, helping the lives of many gorillas. Donating directly to one of these organizations can help a gorilla, rhino, or other animal to live a better, happier life. Some of them even let you add a note to your donation, in case you want to support a specific species. Also, don't forget to spread the word. It is important to spread awareness about how important it is that we protect these precious creatures before it's too late. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the story of the Eastern Lowland Gorilla.